back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Philman Health's channel, a clinical stage natural psychedelic drug development company. Forefronting the industry, we have, as always, the chief executive officer, Ben Lightburn. Welcome back, sir. Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. Always a pleasure to have you, man. Seeing you guys forefront the psychedelic industry, you're continuing to, uh, to expand as Filament uh, announces a second patent issuance. Can you kind of break this down, what this means and everything that's involved here? I'll uh, take a step, taking a step back, um, there's actually only a limited number of ways to make natural pharmaceutical grade psychedelic extracts. And because uh, up until now, everyone had been manufacturing psychedelics synthetically, no one had actually gone in and developed all the techni technology necessary to actually make natural psychedelics for the first time into pharmaceutical grade drug candidates um, until filament came along. And so um, we got issued our first patent um, last summer. And this is obviously validation that um, you know, all the work we're doing is obviously novel and inventive and um, no one's ever really done it before. And, 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 and that's what's allowed us to go in and actually get issued patents. Um, even more validation arrived last week when we got our second uh, issue patent. These, these first two patents are all about the extraction and standardization of natural psychedelic substances from natural uh, plant and fungal species. Um, but we, there's a lot more to our technology. We have um, patent applications covering purification, standardization, stabilization, and also compositions of matter for various human deliverable forms of our drug candidates. Uh, notably, um, we're the first group to actually make a stable standardized formulation of psilocin, which is the active uh, version of psilocybin. And of course, that's the subject of a lot of um, uh, really good um, IP protection. So they, we expect to get more and more patents over the next months and years. Um, uh, so far, our success rate from applied patent applications to issued patents is 100%. The life sciences average is only 42%. So we're, we're, we're doing extremely well and, and we hope our success uh, uh, continues in the next short, medium and long-term in fact. Yeah, I really appreciate those insights. And you guys are offering a lot of different ex uh, investment exposure, very unique ways to the psychedelic industry. For the newer audience, you know, kind of heading into spring here, can you just give us a general overview of where you guys sit and just give us a brief pitch to exactly what's going on right now? It's been a period over the last little while of um, strategizing, I think, for a lot of the members of the psychedelics industry, refining business plan, um, um, uh, assessing different options. Um, we're razor focused on bringing the very first uh, pharmaceutical grade natural psychedelic uh, candidates uh, into clinical trials now and then uh, as approved drugs in the future. Uh, but we're also looking very closely at other developments for the psychedelics industry, such as the um, opening of the special access program uh, in Health Canada to psilocybin um, uh, and other controlled substances, as well as to other uh, developments uh, like in Oregon State, where beginning next year, we will actually have um, the first legal market for psilocybin in North America. So um, it's very, very exciting time uh, to be in the psychedelics industry. Um, and we're very much looking forward to uh, all the developments that uh, are in store for us and the rest of the industry. Well, on that note, Ben, if investors want to learn, uh, learn more here, give us some insights on where they can find some information. Go to our website, sign up for our mailing list, um, uh, or just uh, reach out to us directly. We're always happy to chat. Great to hear. On that note, I pass the question off to you guys. Let us know what you think about this in the comments section below. Consider subscribing because as more news comes down the wire, we'll always continue to update you here. But stay cool, stay awesome. And as always, I look forward to catching you in the next one.